explain something. What is it, you guys? So I am about to clean, but I thought I would pick you guys up. It is already one o'clock and it's been a day. I went to my class, woke up late, Rushed to my class, went to breakfast with my girlies, um, which was unplanned, but we did it anyway, and I'm so happy that we did. Um, but yeah, so I figured I would pick you guys up and basically take you guys along cleaning my house with me because it needs to get done. But I'm gonna put you right there. But yeah, so I don't know about you guys. I have been feeling just mentally drained. I feel that I'm not sleeping. It's just a whole thing. It's a whole ordeal right now. So we're going to clean our house. We're going to make our mindset feel better if I can ever get this off. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I have been in like a mental rut and I just feel like I need to clear my space um, and clean everything. Not that my house is dirty. I just feel, I don't know, my mind just, I'm having a time. So we're gonna clean our house together. I'm not really doing anything crazy today or tomorrow really. I do need to go to Ulta. I'm running out of my Good Molecules toner. Um, and then I do need to go take my husband to Old Navy and get new work pants. Um, he's had his for a really long time and just he needs a new one. So that's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna clean my house and get that stuff done. Honestly, it's kind of gloomy here today in Colorado, and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the gloom. I'm feeling that I don't want to do anything. I just kind of want to veg. I'm kind of not feeling well. My throat's kind of hurting. That's why I'm grabbing it. But yeah, so let's just get to it. Let's get to cleaning. Let's get to getting things done. I love cleaning. Um, I'm weird. I hate cleaning. I love cleaning. So we're listening to a Mel Robbins podcast right now. I love her. Honestly, you guys because it's all things I know and it's just like yep I need to do that yep it's just like constant reminders of when you have a dream or a passion and you want to do that but you're scared that other people are gonna feel a certain way whatever um to like who cares it's not their life you know like their life doesn't change whether or not you do something that you love or not so I love them. So we're going to clean. I said so about 5 million times. Uh, we're going to clean this RV and just chill. I have a literally less than an hour because I am going to do a Zoom call with someone. I should probably do, get stuff ready for that first. Oh, I still need to clean though. We'll, we'll figure it out. The person that's suffering is you. The only person that's being impacted is you. And remember what I said. People around you are living their own lives. which is the German Shepherd. Um, this broke, and so now Hubby's going to try and super glue it, because why buy a new one? Yeah. 
That was major sarcasm on my part. Um, but yeah, so if you were ever thinking about getting a German Shepherd or a Husky, I hope that reality was there for you. To be fair, we haven't brushed them at all this year. Which is bad. So normally I would say at least brush them once a month. Uh, or if you're like not too nitpicky about the hair, I am. Uh, you could do during like their uh, de-shedding and shedding season, so winter and obviously shedding now because it's starting to get warmer, they're naturally gonna be shedding their coat so it's not a winter coat. But anyway, I'm gonna go shower because I really want one. Jack! Um, and uh, yeah, the house is clean and I just really want to shower now. So the reality of having two dogs, seriously. Okay, so I'm gonna be eating dinner pretty much by myself, but I made some grilled steak with some rice, some sour cream, lettuce, and cheese, and that is literally all I'm eating. It's a pretty big steak, so I honestly don't weigh it, but um, I'm assuming it's like, oh, I don't even know. Husby, husby. <laughs> husband, husband. Oh, I can't talk. My husband weighed the other ones when we had steak the other night. Um, but yeah, so I'm really hungry and I'm gonna eat this. So see you guys in a little bit if I have anything else. Um, I try to eat my body weight in protein. If I'm not weighing or tracking, I'm just trying to really eat as much protein as I possibly can. And that is because I want to gain as much muscle as I can. So. I'm gonna go eat this because I'm hungry and it is calling my name. So, see you guys in a bit. <laughs> what is up, you guys? Happy Saturday. I haven't picked up the camera at all today. Um, honestly, it has just been so bleh outside. Um, we've got like super gusty winds um, and it's just not been something that we want to do anything in. So, we've just kind of been hanging out hanging out with these guys. I've been doing some computer stuff and honestly, self-care stuff. And what I mean by that is just writing down things that, um, you know, I want to accomplish by the time I'm 30, um, things that I've promised myself that I've not done for myself, um, what my mission is here on this planet, um, what I feel called to, um, and how can I bring that uh, thought into my reality? Um, because I'm a true believer, and I'm not necessarily religious by any means, um, but we are a soul living a human experience, and um, you know, I feel that I am I'm called here for a mission, and that mission is to help people and help people. Um, live healthier lifestyles, but I don't feel like I've lived the healthiest lifestyle. And I think that makes such a difference. If I'm not feeling like I live a healthy lifestyle, how can I help other people live a healthy lifestyle, if that makes sense. So I've kind of just been like writing down all these things that are just kind of like brain dumping. Um, you know, what version of myself do I picture in my brain that I want to be? And how can I bring that into my reality? How can I become this person that I want to so bad? Um, and just that kind of stuff. But I've also been working on an online welcome packet for all of my clients, um, chapters, what I want in those chapters, um, and things like that. So those are the things that I've been doing mostly today. Um, really just kind of brain dumping and just clarifying as we go you know, this eclipse is happening and I just want to clarify who I am and, you know, my mission. And I've been wanting this mission to create content and share my life for about three years now. And I wasn't very consistent with it. I was just putting out random content. Um, but I didn't really have like a goal. I just wanted to share content and share my fitness journey. And I have come such a long way in the last three years in my own fitness journey that it's unbelievable. Um, you know, learning from clients and just different walks of life because uh, everyone's so different. And how can I help all these walks of life with science um, and compare it to my own life? And how can I 
motivate myself and stay disciplined for myself um, using the advice that I give my clients. Uh, those kind of things. Because there would be times where I didn't work out as much and I told my clients, oh, consistency is key. And <laughs> wasn't being consistent at all. Um, so those are things that I am just really wanting to sit with myself and, you know, say, what can I do to become that version of myself? So I know it's already day six of April, but I am very excited for this new version of myself that I promised I was going to be in January that I definitely am not. I'm more, but I'm not. Um, and I'm, you know, the last week I have hit PRs that I haven't ever hit, uh, in my fitness journey and, you know, actually eating food. And there would be times where I told my client to need to eat food and then I wouldn't because we're busy. Right. And those kind of things. So long story short, I am just changing the way my content's going to be kind of, um, I'm going to make it more of a docu-series of, you know, changing my life um, to who I want to be, where I want to see myself. You know, I have, I have goals and ambitions like everybody else, and I want to share those goals and ambitions with everyone else. And for a while, I was really nervous that, you know, people would make up stories if you made it, right? Like, let's just say you make it pretty big. Um, and the internet's a really mean and scary place, but at the end of the day, I feel so called to share my journey with you guys and share that if you're going through something, you aren't alone. Um, and that if you're going through a new cycle in your life that I feel like I'm going in through, you're not alone. And you know, we're all in it together. We're all just trying to navigate this thing we call life. We are all trying to just hope for the best and make decisions we think are the best decisions for our life that may not always be the best decision or may be the best decision. Um, but we're all trying to make it out here. And at the end of the day, you live and then you die, right? And that's just the circle of life. You live and then you die. And how can you make your life the most awesome experience? for when you review your life. Um, and that's what I want. I want to make an impact. I want to make a difference. And I need to figure out how I can do that. And I think that's by changing my inner world first. So get ready for some crazy content, guys, because I'm going to be creating content that I think is going to hold me accountable, but also be able to share with you guys the struggles, the the strengths that I have, um, being silly in the gym and making mistakes and things like that is what I want. Um, and then just hopefully either being someone that you can look up to or inspires you to change your own life, um, or become your online coach to help guide you in that direction. So that is going to be the end of my vlog. I'm actually going to get a shower because I just feel like I need one. It's so muggy out. And then I'm going to make dinner. And I'm going to meal prep at the same time because I need meal prep for the next few days. So thank you guys for watching my vlog. Uh, I haven't really done anything. I feel like all I've done is be in my house. I cleaned yesterday, did laundry yesterday, did laundry today. I didn't have as much. Um, and then kind of just focused on self-care. So may this be my best year yet. Thank you guys.